favorite Texan here, old pet. Little roost behind me. Yes. Yes, that is a real rooster. If it's your first time here to the channel, appreciate you being here. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all, to another FIFA 20 player review. Not just any player review. A very, very, very special one. Very, a very emotional one for your boy, man. We are reviewing none other than the, the great, the great Ricardo Kaka. One of my most all-time favorite players. Yes, I have several favorite players. He's up there near the very tippy top. I love this guy, man. I love watching him growing up. I'm a Manchester United fan. I love watching him growing up, man. And look, when he cooked, <laughs> when he cooked Man United, in 2007 at Old Trafford. You can't do anything, but even if you're the most diehard United fan, you can't do anything but sit back and, even if you do it, didn't do it at that time, when you go back and look at that and say that that was his performance and that game was nothing um, short of just absolutely spectacular, special, and every sense of the word. What a game that was. And, he just had an incredible season. A few seasons. Love, love, love Ricardo Kaká. Not only on the field, but off the field. Him being a man of faith, I, I really respect the guy. And it's a pleasure to be reviewing this card. This is the long version. Uh, I think it was, I got it from objectives. I think most of y'all have already got it by now. I've had this card for a little while, but now getting the opportunity to review him and we have to read the icon profile. Kaka had established himself as a key member of the Milan side by 2006 and enjoyed his most successful season in 06 through 07. Following the departure of Andrei Shevchenko, Kaka became the focal point for Milan's attack and finished top goal scorer to help the Rossoneri. Lift the UEFA Champions League trophy, assisting the winning goal in the final against Liverpool. Kaka's scintillating performances earned him many Footballer of the Year awards, including the coveted Ballon d'Or for 2007. Now, let me tell you something about this card, man. I'm going to be doing a giveaway when Moments comes out, specifically when they release this card in a moment. Bear with me now. I've got a, a fun idea for a giveaway. And it's almost foolproof that somebody's gonna win this giveaway. We'll talk more about that in the future. Six foot one. High medium work rates, four star weak button. Five star skill move, damn five. Five of them things, man. Woo! Now, look, the elephant in the room, we all know what it is. I will 1,000% agree that this prime caca doesn't do this man justice. I 1,000% I agree with, with that. I, I couldn't agree more. But this is what we're working with, right? So it is what it is. I feel like for his moments cars, they're gonna go crazy. 91 pace? Come on, man. We should be seeing for his prime at least, minimum, at least, the worst, worst case scenario, the worst case scenario, 93. The worst. Personally, I think his pace should be 95, 96s. Like right under prime R9, he was. He was rapid, wasn't he, y'all? He was beyond rapid. He was so fast. And he was he was 6'1", so fast. Like, when he would run and stride, dude, it was it was breathtaking, wasn't it? I mean, it, it was, and it was like assertive. It was purposeful, purposeful running. Incredible, man. Y'all, 
So it's got 88 agility and balance. I do love that. Love it. 92, uh, 90 reactions, I'm sorry. 92 ball control, 93 dribbling, 94 composure. Incredible. 94 composure, fantastic for this car. 91 vision, 90 short pass. I know I love a short pass. 84 long pass, 89 curve, 86 attack position, 85 finishing, 87 shot power, 86 volleys, 91 pace overall as i mentioned a, a few minutes ago y'all i'm super excited to use this car we're going to be playing him in this formation that you see on the screen him playing in that central cam you know behind two strikers just seeing how he can create and just we're going to try to recreate maybe some things that he he would do in real life i'm super excited y'all let's get into this review of this prime ricardo kaka come on Oh, cock out the skill. <laughs> Ooh, composure. A composure, man. There's that face, man. I miss seeing that face on the screen, y'all. It's been so long, man. Kaka. See, this is the reason why I can't be reviewing these icons. Then I want to buy for the club. Oh, my gosh, man. Beautiful finish, man. Beautiful finish. Beautiful, beautiful ball. Kakao, yeah. Fantastic. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what a ball, Kaka. <laughs> right in to another legend. CR7, beautiful ball, oh, Kaka. I love it, man. We were down uh, three to zero. I gave up three really dumb goals, like back to back to back, but we're about to get back in this game. Great ball. Oh, Kaka. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's my mindset. I never feel like I'm out of a game. I don't care how it's going. I don't care how far I'm down. I never feel like I'm out of a game. I always have that belief that we can get back into it. What a ball. <laughs> Great ball, Kaka. Beautiful team goal. Oh, nice. Yeah, fine, Kaka. That out, keep. Violet finish, pop up shot. Oh, I'm a volley. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Kaka, welcome home. Oh, great ball, Kaka. Great ball, Kaka. <laughs> oh, a touch. Finesse. Great save. That was a fantastic save, man. Oh. Oh, I drag back. Oh, look how much attention he. Oh. Bang! 
Ooh. Who the heck is this cape? And this off-brand cape is saving everything, man. That's a great hit. God, God, what a ball. What a ball, God, God. <laughs> Ooh. Fantastic. Y'all, so unfortunately, man, we found a few more games, and as soon as we found the games and loaded up and everything, my opponent, they hit the pause button, and they left. They said, we gone. So I only have two games left on the loan, man. Dang, man. So I kind of want to savor the last couple of games, you know what I mean? Look, this card is fire. Now, I'll tell you what, man. This is a, Kaka was one of the most anticipated icons for me. I was looking forward to since they announced that he was coming to the game. Obviously, like a lot of y'all, felt like they didn't do his, his prime card justice. But i tell you what, in game, this card feels really, really good. He can move well. He can pass. Very technical passer. Through ball, short pass, long pass, whatever you need. And he can finish, man. He can, not only he can cook, but you can eat your food. If, if you're creative and stuff like that, you can do skills and all that good stuff. All that's great. But at the end of the day, we need y'all to eat y'all's food, man. And he can do that. Beautiful curve, finesse. Finesse shots are crazy. It's a very solid card. Good pace. Uh, really don't have much bad to say about him. Honestly, his... Aggression is very, very low. I'm going to list that as a minor con because in-game, you couldn't really tell that much, in my opinion. There wasn't like a bunch of times where I'm just like, oh, if his aggression was higher, he would have got that. And the 78 strength, I feel like he could hold, he, he held his own pretty well. So, head and accuracy and jumping, bro. Like, I'm not even going to put those as cons. This is FIFA 20, not FIFA 19. In FIFA 19, those would be cons. In FIFA 20, y'all know how headers are. They're pretty, you know, you could probably count on your hand, on one hand, the number of headers you get scored on with. In rivals during the week, right? It rarely happens. It's freak occurrence. So other than that, everything else, y'all see high 80s and 90s all the way around. So like I said, I'll put aggression as a minor con, but it's very, very small. Enjoyment level, 10 out of 10. Nostalgia. If Kaka was one of your favorite players, like, if, Pat, Pat, is he worth it? If he was one of your favorite players, they're always worth it. No matter what the cost is, they're always worth it when it's, you know, the nostalgia, sentimental value. <clears throat> if you're looking for a cam, a creator, you've got one in this guy right here. Now, if you say, Pat, hey, I'm looking for him as a cam, as a creator, but on P PlayStation, he's going for over two mil right now. Good Lord, he was like 1.7 or something like that, 1.6 the other day. I feel like 1.6, 1.7, around there, 1,000%, man, pick him up. Two mil is a lot, man. This is my guy, too. Two mil is a lot, two mil is a lot, I'm like, Oh, brother, I want you in the team, but two mil, Kaka? I don't know. I think I'm going to wait till Future Stars come out, y'all, because that can maybe add a price correction to the market. Look, my suggestion is for y'all to wait. Wait till Future Stars drop, and then see how prices look. But Future Stars, allegedly, is supposed to come not this Friday, but next Friday. So wait till then. See what the market does. If he goes down a couple hundred K, I say pick him up. If you can't wait, pick him up. Shoot. Have fun. Oh, composure is crazy. So he feels really calm in front of goal in different situations. 94 composure is fantastic. This is a solid card overall, man. I'm going to give him a high rating because he deserves it. This is my guy, man. Prime Kaka, 91 rated out of a 10. I'm going to give you a 9.7, man. 
It's been a pleasure using you again, man. It's been too long, Kaka. Hopefully, I can get you back in the club in the future. And your moments card is coming out in March, I think. Hopefully, I have the, the monies. Hopefully, we'll have the coinage to pick you up. Because I already know which moment they're going to use for your card. And that's going to be part of the giveaway. Stay tuned, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Talk to y'all real soon. Little Roots behind me. Thanks for the support, y'all. God bless.